It's Thursday evening and it is time for another episode of Coaster of the Week. Now, join me in this episode as I talk about another two roller coasters which are brand new. So in this video I'm going to be talking to you about two crazy roller coasters that I think you'll probably enjoy. So the first one I'm going to be talking to you about right now is called Top Mouse. Now this coaster is quite interesting to talk about because this coaster is not very long because it's actually... 59 seconds long which is which is about which is just one second shorter than a minute so you know this coaster what it actually does is it goes it goes around first it goes around the turn then it goes up the lift hill it then goes down it's like forming a wave it's like a wave it's like you go up and then you go down you go up and down and then you turn around and then it does the same thing it's like a repeat of the same section of track like a mirror version of it so yeah if you and you'll probably see it in a minute so let's go through the field data and statistics like I said I haven't got my um, phone with me this week I've got the um, tablet on this week because I am very busy with other projects and it, and it did t and it will take me ages to write the notes down on that because I've got lots of videos to do on Buffy production so let's quickly go through the field data and statistics and then we'll go straight on to our first roller coaster POV of the evening so Let's have a look at the max speed then. 94.30 miles per hour. That is very, very fast on this one. The average is 32.70 miles per hour. The length is 54 miles per hour. 54 miles this time. It's quite a short coaster because there's no straight lines or anything. It's just a um, coaster that goes up and down the lift hill and down the lift hill. Like I said, the time, 59 seconds. That is a very short amount of time especially when it comes down to a minute and that. So yeah, so we're gonna go through the, the drops. There's four drops on this coaster, and there are no inversions at all because there's no, because this this is a wild mouse themed coaster and it has got no leads or anything. It's just like a classic style coaster that I'm gonna be showing you in a minute. So, the fill rating 68 out of 100. That's very good. But however, the nausea is 100 out of a possible 100 because it's absolutely too sick to go on. So, without further ado, let's get straight on to the first POV of the evening. So there you go then, that was the um, top mouse coaster that I actually designed. Now before I um, move on to the next coaster, can I just say a big apology for not talking about the statistics of the ride. I normally talk about the um, the full day uh, and, and the statistics, but unfortunately I've been so busy throughout the past few weeks on Valfrey Productions with lots and lots of videos. So I thought I'll quickly talk about the statistics right now, just to get it over and done with so I don't forget in the next coaster. So the statistics of this ride, the build cost, £6,330 to build, capacity is 16, and like I said, like I said the full data and North are always going to be the same, so yeah, that is the um, top the statistics for this ride. So, we're going to move on to our next coaster, and this coaster that I'm going to be um, talking about next is called Whirlpool. Now, this coaster is going to be themed around like a Whirlpool you have in in the bath and the tub when you see the water drain it creates a whirlpool for the water and that when it goes down and that and that's what my coaster is going to be themed around next and it's just going to be like a few helix drops I even added a loop as well on the ride as well so I'm going to be talking about those elements in a few minutes so let's just go straight on to the field data and statistics this time I'm definitely going to be talking about the statistics before 
I actually do the POV. So yeah, the max speed, 54.62 miles per hour. The average speed is 31.88 miles per hour. The time is 1 minute and 8 seconds, just a few seconds longer than, than top mouse that I just did a few minutes ago. The length is a little bit longer as well, 61 miles. There's 26 drops on this coaster and there is one inversion as well. And I think that inversion is the loop that I have included on this ride. So yeah, so that is the um, field data. I'll just quickly go through the statistics this time. I haven't forgotten this time, so let's go through that. So the build costs £5,500 to build. The capacity is 18. The time's the same. And the thrill rating is 100 out of 100, which is good. And the naughty is 72 out of 100, which is okay, but it's not the greatest, but at least it's not in the red section this time. So, without further ado, let's get straight on to the second POV of the evening. Oh, I really enjoyed that little ride on Whirlpool. I thought it was a really good one to watch. I really liked the elements I used. I used like the helix drops. I used it. I used it multiple times to like create a Whirlpool effect when when the water goes down the plug hole and that. And I really enjoyed using that because it it makes you a little bit dizzy as well when you watch the coaster go around. And like I said, I think this coaster is quite a good one to to watch really and I really enjoyed adding the loop as well to create some extra thrill along the ride and yeah so that is the second coaster done and that means then we have come to the end of the episode but before we go I'm going to just reflect on the coasters that I think or the coaster that I think is the best tonight so Top Mouse was quite a good coaster but unfortunately I think it was too sick to go on because it was too high I think the big drop in the station did sound a little silly to watch but I don't think it's going to be the best coaster this evening I'm afraid but Whirlpool is going to be my favourite coaster of this evening because it's actually got the helix drop it actually makes the shape of a Whirlpool like I said with the bath and the sink when the water goes down the drain and it creates that effect and yeah I've really enjoyed Whirlpool this evening I thought it was quite a good coaster it wasn't too fast or too slow and I think it is quite a smooth ride to watch so there you go then that is the end of this week's episode episode five we're in now and i can't believe that we have reached five episodes of the series already and thinking i can't believe february just went so quick and you know it just feels like five minutes ago i started the very first episode of the series and i can't believe where we are now it's five episodes in and like i said it goes so quick and there are so more coasters to come throughout the year and I hope you'll really enjoy the other coasters I've, I'm going to be designing throughout the next few months. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll have a good weekend and I'll see you in another video on the Banfield Productions channel very soon. See you later everyone. Bye for now.